now. You guys are ready! No, you guys are ready! Take it, please. Of course, I got it right here. It's nothing. It takes a little bit. Just, just give me like a minute, guys. Here's the ticket. Uh, it's starting. Yeah. Mine works. Uh. Bob realized his network coverage was a no-show. That's why he switched to Metro PCS, because he figured out he gets a network that's more reliable than ever, covering 99% of people in the U.S. About to get real. New Kingswood barbecue sauces, real ingredients like brown sugar, hickory, built on 90 years of grilling tradition. Start something real. New Kingswood sauces. Listen up, basketball fans. Mountain Dew and the NBA are taking three on three hoops to the next level. The Dew NBA 3X Tour is back, and it's coming to a city near you. Bringing you fast basketball action you won't find anywhere else. Come watch local legends go head to head. They compete to play on the national stage. Bring your friends and don't miss out on the hottest competition before it hits the road. For tour dates and locations, visit DoNBA3X.com. WNBA releases its monthly awards. Congratulations, Nicole Jones, Sylvia Owls. Alicia Gray, and uh, to Coach Agler from the Seattle Storm as well. The East and West rookies, WNBA action is in. We get our results of the social poll. We asked you on Twitter, will Gordon Hayward be enough for the Celtics to overcome the Cavs? Uh, many of you saying no. Continue to vote over at NBA TV. Uh, meanwhile, time to hit the buzzer. Uh, we talked about moves at the beginning. Swaggy going out west. Here's a Kevin Durant tweet for you. Fox after, after after a miss where he thought it went in from Nick Young. But these guys, they wanted him there. Let me tell you this much. It went in today for, for Nick Young. Oh, big time. It went in big time. But he wanted time. to win. Could have could have, could have taken more money probably elsewhere. Uh, by the way, while you all think that the Cavaliers are still better than the Celtics, LeBron's very worried about the Celtics. Can you tell? He's worried about this Hayward movie. This was on Instagram today. <laughs> Do it. Do it, LeBron. I don't know where Do he's it. at, Get but he seems in. very concerned. I love these people. Can you imagine you're just sitting at, like, the tiki bar <laughs> getting, like, a pina colada because it's okay to do that when you're in Mexico, sure. and, like, LeBron just, like, strolls up with a cigar? He was just in – he was in Brentwood the other day. He's – He's everywhere. He's very – Enjoy your life, man. Yeah, they, he just put up an Enjoy Instagram of him in the gym, and there's, like, some random dude family like, just time. sitting in the Quality background. Family time, he's, he's, he's enjoying life. It's good to be the king. Gonna be the king. All right, we've got more, uh, of course, on the free agent side of things. So keep up with the news and notes on NBA TV. I'll see you out in Vegas too. Summer league out in Vegas. Vegas, Vegas, baby. All right. What stays in Vegas? What is it happens? In yeah. See you next time. I know what it is. See you. Start to Summer League in Orlando, Florida. Final day of the event. Seating has taken place. And the eight teams will make their way out of Orlando. Some to Las Vegas, some back to their home bases. We get started today with the New York Knicks and the Miami Heat. Game one of four on the final day of Summer League here from Orlando. Hi, everybody. Welcome in. Matt Weiner, Stu Jackson, bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for an 8 a.m. Eastern time start between the Knicks and the Miami Heat. 
Uh, just about everybody is available for both rosters. We just checked on that. We don't know how awake they are. We'll find that, that out soon enough. Uh, but we will get another look at the Heat's first-round draft pick, Bam Adebayo, who's averaged a double-double here so far. Yeah, 19 points, 10 rebounds, and more importantly, Matt, he's exhibited skills that we didn't see at the University of Kentucky. I mean, he scored in a variety of ways, and, you know, probably his best skill is he just has extreme high energy, takes no plays off during the game, plays with reckless abandon, he rebounds, he's shown a mid-range game, and uh, just been uh, a real surprise here at the Summer League. Adebayo starts with London Parentes, Sakaro White, who's averaging 21 a game, Zach Irvin and Lamon Murray Jr. They're up against the Knicks. Jason Randall runs the point. Nigel Hayes out of Wisconsin. The rookie Damian Dotson. Jamel Artis, who's shown the ability to really shoot here. And the big fella Marshall Plumley, who played with the Knicks as a rookie last season. Our officials, Curtis Blair, Jamel Spearman, and Josh Wilson. There are some clock issues here in the gym. So bear with us on that. We have a clock across from us. The main scoreboards here in the practice facility for the Magic aren't functional, but the clocks above the backboards both seem to be working. And hopefully that holds up over the course of the morning. Here's a Carl White, averaging 21 a game. And that's what he does. I mean, he, he can score. We saw him the other night uh, against the Detroit Pistons and uh, really had a fine game. Much of it coming from the perimeter off of drives, but there uh, scores inside. Well, Nigel Hayes tried to pull the chair on him. Felt like maybe he traveled, but he got the bucket anyway, and Hayes gets it right back against White on the other end. Making up for that false chair mistake. <laughs> the false chair move. <laughs> <laughs> Breakfast here at Orlando. Yes. I'm, I'm still picking mine out of my, my teeth, in fact, as we get started here in the opening minute. Wimbledon has nothing on us. You know, it's Matt. interesting. The um, I don't know if it's because they've made their way out of town, but uh, here for the 8 a.m. start, I see far fewer scouts and referees and other personnel in the gym. I mean, you and I were here early. We're out working them, Matt. That's We're right. out working them. Apparently, uh, some of the scouts have seen what they need to see here in Orlando. Here's Parentes off on the jumper. Four to two. Next lead early on. Jamel Artis. Jamel Artis really showing the ability to shoot the basketball. Averaged 18 a game at Pittsburgh last year. Shooting nearly 52%. He did eight of his 16 threes, even 50%. Here's Jason Randall. Jumper in and out. Parentes pushes, bumps Randall. Randall bumped him. Randall will pick up the foul. We know th one thing about Parentes is that he will keep coming at you. Uh, both an active player defensively. There you see him drive into the rim. Makes sound decisions. His game. I think he had six turnovers during the game, which is a little odd for him. He's a low turnover guy normally. This is a high turnover setting uh, with, with players who haven't spent a lot of time together for one. And guys who often trying to make aggressive plays to impress their coaches and other coaches, scouts, and anybody else who may be watching. Prentice went undrafted after his senior year at Virginia. That was this year. Yes. Yes, just a few months ago. Yes. Damian Dotson out to Marshall Plumley and over to Artis. Dotson crossover to set up the jumper. Damian Dotson has had some nice moments here. Very good execution. Dotson sets a good back screen, which you see the value of setting a back screen and freed himself for an open shot. Back come the Knicks. 
Here's Artis. Off on the three, and that three-point percentage has just fallen below 50%. He's a little too aggressive with that, uh, that pass forward. And a turnover. Just about everybody is available for both rosters. Xavier Wraith and Mays will not play for the Knicks. He is resting today. Just about, according to the coaching staff, everyone else is available. Although uh, I asked Juwan Howard if everyone is awake, and he could not confirm. <laughs> he likened this to the AAU schedule. How's that feel? Parentes transition three is left good. to Plumley. Good find by Pump Irvin fake. there. Parentes on the yeah, other side. Keep it. Of a pass out versus shot clock. his normal role where had to launch it. He's trying to set up everybody short. up. Nice jump. Averaged 14 a year as a senior. They see Irvin the drive this basketball, takes it into the teeth of the defense, draws, back to kicks it back out Dotson. inside out Goes to, to his left for the to easy three-point shot. Pump fake. Yeah. And decided to keep it. Parentes gets a hardest from Carl shot White. Clock. Cross had to launch it. it comes Got a up sense short. of deja vu there. Randall, they see Irving nice drive his basketball, the basketball, takes it into the teeth of the defense, draws, kicks it back out inside out to Parentes for the easy three point shot. Parentes gets a pick from Okara White. Cross. Got a sense of deja vu there for a second. Randall, nice job moving without the basketball and a good finish for Chase and Randall. You know, I did uh, two, three days with Vince Carter here earlier in the week, and we, we were counting or a lot. the connections he has to so many people in the gym, including Lamont Murray Jr. For a limited time at Wendy. His dad was one of Vince's NBA No teammates. bars. Oh, no. Looks Vince, like somebody uh, needs a new network. When I got this unlimited plan, they told me they were all the same. They're not. Verizon has the largest, most reliable 4G LTE network in America. Basically made for places like this. Honey, what if there was just us out here? Right. So, I ordered you a car. Thank you. You don't want to be out here at night because of the coyotes. Okay, thanks, bud. Bye. It'd be nice to have your car for some shelter. Bye. When it really, really matters, you need the best network and the best unlimited. Plus, get the Pixel by Google for just $15 a month. Changing your oil after 3,000 miles? If you'd use new Mobile One annual protection, you wouldn't have to. Why are you three inches tall? What? You don't like short people? Don't change your oil. New Mobile One annual protection. I'm leaving you, Wesley. But why? You haven't noticed me in two years. I was in a coma. Well, I still deserve appreciation. Who was there for you when you had amnesia? Look, you know I can't remember that. Just stop this madness. If it's appreciation you want, you should both get Snapshot from Progressive. It rewards good drivers with big discounts on car insurance. It's a miracle. I can walk again. Go back to your room, Susan Lucci. Well, news relevant to this Miami Heat team, Dion Waiters has reportedly agreed to re-up with the Heat for four years and $52 million. Averaged just under 16 points, four assists a game last year, the best year of his five-year NBA career. Part of that fun Heat comeback from an 11-30 and 30 start to finish the season 30-11 and 11 and wind up eliminated by tiebreaker on the final night of the regular season in terms of the playoff chase. Yeah, good move by Miami, better move by Deion Waiters. Uh, was very productive. They brought him in, uh, as Miami does often with players. He sheds some weight, and his productivity goes up. Um, you know, he's still a very young player, and I, I you know, going to be a very good player for the Miami Heat for years to come now. You know, he was in an interesting situation. He'd already bounced around a little bit, and, and I guess it would be overstating it to say he was playing for his career last year in Miami, but he was getting to the point where teams were starting to look at him side-eyed maybe and thinking, well, what, what is this guy? What can he be in the NBA? Came back. I thought he played more responsibly last year and became just a, a fun team to watch with Waiters and Goran Dragic playing a little faster pace with the Heat and making things happen and enjoying themselves and becoming one of the better stories of the second half of the season, including that 13-game win streak back in January and, and February. Waiters, in fact, had a game-winning three against Golden State during that stretch. Yeah, well, you hit it on the head. Not only did he play more responsibly, he was a better teammate. 
he got himself in much better condition and then his talent really became really emerged and started to understand what it takes to not only play in the NBA but win in the NBA and you know he, he had one of the best players tribune pieces I've ever seen on the site to date just talking about his journey uh, from the time that he came to Miami to the success that they had last season it was very compelling if you get a chance really recommend you read it Jason Randall knocking down the three for New York Nicks up 13 to 9. An offensive foul on the other end on Lamont Murray Jr. Out of Pepperdine. Never been to Pepperdine. Everyone says this is the most beautiful campus on earth. I, I've been to Pepperdine. Oh, I'm sorry. He stepped out of bounds. Excuse me. Not an offensive foul on Murray. I've been to Pepperdine uh, several times. And each time I leave, I wonder how students get any work done. <laughs> that that's seems to be the consensus. It is definitely uh, high-end oceanfront property, I'll say that. Beautiful landscapes and views anywhere you walk on campus. You could do worse than Malibu. Randall to Marshall Plumley, stripped by Murray. One on two. And tried to get it to Parentes, but Randall did a good job hustling back. You, you like to see players when they're going out of control full speed, just jump stop in the lane. It's the safest move and then make the right play. Murray that time trying to do a little too much. Lewis Labore and Canyon Berry now enter for the New York Knicks. Hayes and Artis exit for the moment. Here comes Zach August, who will take Okara White's spot in the lineup. August, the former Notre Dame star, played in Turkey last season for USAC Sports. It's a tremendous name. Of the Turkish Super League. The Super League. Average just under 12 points a game there. Wasn't it August who fouled Luke Kennard the other day at the end of the game? Yes, it was. Kennard hit the three free throws that sent that game to overtime. And ultimately, the Pistons won that game in sudden death in overtime number two with Pierre Jackson with the driving bucket. That's right. Here's Canyon Berry to the line. And he will shoot it underhanded just like his father, Rick. And in Las Vegas, we'll see Chinanu Anawaku, who likewise shoots it underhanded. Rick, the Hall of Famer, one of the great scorers in NBA history, is the third best free throw shooter in league history, shooting it underhanded. And a strong underhand advocate. He is. He is. He started it back in high school on his father's advice, honed his technique over time, and is often advocated for the underhand shot for folks who have struggled at the free throw line. And Canyon. Continuing the legacy from grandfather down to yeah. grandson. It's tough to deny. It's a very high percentage shot. Well, and, and one of Rick's contentions is is that there's just less that can go wrong. There are fewer moving parts. It's a more natural motion than the overhead shot. Obviously, you can't shoot jump shots that way. But if you don't have a defender, why not? No, he makes a great case. I mean, one of the issues with many free...